Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, I am Lutra FM, as always, and this is my ninth episode of the So Show Rise of the Lions You've Only Saved, and uh, where you left us off last episode. We are currently nine points clear, top of the league, with about five or six games to go. We've got some good, talented young players coming through the youth intake, so exciting times ahead. So, uh, yeah, let's just get Well, I'll be back in a sec, obviously, with the first part of the episode. Yeah, so as I said at the intro, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got six games left. We're nine points clear. So we just need to win three out of them six games. No, we need more than that, don't we? Four out of the six, sorry, to guarantee the title. So but we could, obviously, if Orleans, I think, are second at the moment. Yeah, if Orleans don't win or New York don't win, then we'll win the title quicker. But we've just got to keep winning out for the best. We are playing Orleans in the in which will probably be for next episode. We'll see. But yeah, we're playing Red Star now. And here's how you here's the, the lineup. I think most of the same as usual. No real shockers here, so let's just get cracking with the game. Hopefully this is a good start. Hopefully this will be a good start to the episode and we get the win. So we'll keep an eye on Orleans and Neils, because they're our rivals in this one. Oh Neil's not playing, I don't think. All right, let's oh Drame, come on. Focus. In fact, I'm going to tell him to focus because that was not right. We lose the men in green. Red Star have the ball now. It's a nice green kit they've got, Red Star. It's pleasant on the eyes. Ooh, as you can tell, Drummy is not happy with my shout, but shouldn't have lost the ball then, should you, Drummy? Oh, my God. That was very ambitious there. Again, another game with no fans. What's going on? Does nobody watch French teams? Or is it just a bug in the game? Right, corner to us. That had some swing on it. That did that corner. I feel like there's a goal coming up here. Bastion with a beautiful cross. Oh, hit the bloody bar. Right, nil nil still. Let's have a look at later scores. Orleans are drawing. New York's not playing, are they? No, but we just need to concentrate on the top game there. Dijon versus Orleans. Right, half time. One half time nil nil. Hopefully Dijon can do us a favour. Free kick. Oh, headed nicely to the goalkeeper. Who's not playing well? Nobody's not playing particularly badly. We could our chances will come. That's a beautiful ball. Look at that. Almost Almost on to, oh no, it's not allowed. I was going to say almost as if I, I timed that right, but yeah, it didn't work out. Oh, Dijon's winning though. That's good. All right, Dossu's is knackered. And we'll put Vaz on, on the right wing. And Galvez is knackered as well. So we'll put on Silver. All right, 68 minutes gone. We still haven't scored and Red Star are now in possession. Oh, nicely nicked there by Kofi. He drives ahead. Go on. Oh, lovely pass. Oh, come on. There, that was our chance. We'll have more chances though. We will. Take him off as well. Right, Dramet built up across to offside. Right, we've got to do some swapping around here. So we'll put him up front and then we'll put Vitali here, maybe. No, we'll put him in here. Oh, can Boris play as a defensive midfielder? That's, that's sorted. And we'll just put him here. There you go. Put him in the more natural positions. Hopefully, it'll work in our favour. Leaves us a bit weak on the right side defensively, though. And then Kofi will have to come off now. And we'll put our goalie on up front. Hope for the best. Some would say that's a very poor tactical decision taking off our best striker, but. Don't want him being injured. We don't need to win this game. We can draw it. Like I said, all the ends have lost. So we are 10 points clear now with five games left. One of our young prospects has just signed a new contract. Right, so give us a second and I'll be back. Right, so after a couple of weeks, well, about a month after the intake, or over a month actually, we finally got graduates. So let's just go through them again, the ones that we've already gone through. So, uh, yeah, obviously, George Gaultier, we've got him. We looked at him. So, we've got this one here, Andre Riviere, we didn't see before. Balanced personality, a right back and wing back who can also be trained to play as a left back. Decent passing and technique, very good work rate, but ter- good determination and aggression, decent ability, agility and balance, already improving in training. So, in fact, I'm just going to praise him on his training development and also praise him on his youth development, keep his morale up. There we go. Uh, another good one there. We've already looked at Dirk Paisley, I think. Or have we? Actually, I don't know if we have. Bloody hell, look at that. Potential 1 million value. So, very good player in the making. Already improving. So, but yeah, a reunion player. I wouldn't mind man- managing, like, the reunion national team or the Mayotte or one of the French island teams and just try and raid France for talented players that just won't get play- called up to the... France team, I mean, they've got a, a scope here, top of here. Yeah, I've heard of him, Ludovic P, he used to play for Strasbourg, I think. Yeah, Strasbourg, then Mainz, and then on, on the game he went to, he's gone to Luton on low. But yeah, that'd be an interesting save for anybody, managing like a team like that, national team. 
if it comes available, I might try and take over on here. Don't think it will though. But yeah, so there's him. Gregor Rare, Gregor or Theory. We didn't see him last time. Fairly professional personality, improving in some areas and not in others. Decent first touch and passing, tackling technique, quick decisions, good natural fitness. Six six foot three as well. Midfielder central, defensive midfielder, and also a left winger. We've already looked at him. Theo Fibud, Fibud, we'll call him. He's got a driven personality as well, which helps. And then obviously we've got a few. We've got all these top ones as well, but I won't go for all them. We'll just see if they become down the road. They might become good players. Right there you go. Just need to switch that about. There you go. Right, we are playing Nims now. Another strong team that we can't take for granted. Uh, yeah, let's just crack on. I don't think there's any drastic changes in the lineup. So we are currently eight points clear. If we win this game, we'll be 11 points clear with four games to go. So then if we win the next game, then we're basically champions, I think. And I think we're playing Orleans next game. Let's have a look. Playing... No, we're not playing Orleans next. We're playing Sholo next. But it'd be nice to win the title and not have to worry about winning against... I think we'll win this game. I think we're guaranteed to get promoted anyway, which is the important thing. Winning the title would be nice, but it's not be all or end all. But that's not a good start, is it? Yeah. Right. Let's come on. Let's get into this game now. Biltard, good passing ball there. Galvez across to Diagne. Diagne's become a first team regular now. I think he's playing every game now. Good equaliser by Dosu. Dosu with his six goal of the season. Thought he had more than that. He's not played as much as I would like. He's been injured for a bit. Twenty games. We played we played thirty games, yeah. So he's he's missed ten games plus the cup games as well. I think Diagne Biltard. I think we're we're now the team on the up in this game. I think the momentum switched again. Another game with no fans. What's going on? Where are all these fans? Is it a, a, a fans not allowed in the French national division for some reason, or they just they don't attract any crowds? It just seems ridiculous. Right, Fatar's not playing particularly well, so we'll put Vaz on, give him a bit of game time, take him off. All right, let's see how it goes. Come on, let's get this other goal. Oh my god, we've got two left backs on the bench, but no central defenders. We'll put him in. Put him on there. Go for broke. And then we'll put Holy on his right back. Looks like it'll be another draw. But that's fine. We're eight points clear, so it's not the end of the world. We could draw all the games now and we'll still win the title, so it's no issue. All right, back in a sec. All right, we've got Cholet next. I've decided to rotate the team because I just feel confident that we're going to win the title, whatever happens. So we've got Dosso in goal, not to be confused with the Dosso who plays on the wing. That's a different Dosso. I think one's called Dosso and then one's called Dosu. So it is easy to get confused. We've got Gamora as right back, Vitelli and Fabri in centre defence. Silver as left back, Akra and Tete in midfield. Blue on the right, Dehu on the left, Lacoila and Vaz up front. Be nice to give the other players a bit of a rest as well. They've worked hard this season. I think Fabri's playing his first game for us. I don't think he's played yet. No, he's not good enough to stay with us in the long run though. That'll probably be the only game he plays for us. But yeah, we're, we're at the nine points clear at the moment. Or, or Orleans playing. Orleans are not playing, so we don't need to worry about looking at that. Oh, it's Ruin we've got to look out for now actually. So let's keep an eye on FC Ruin. They are winning 1 0. They might end up getting automatic promotion instead of. It'll be whoever gets promoted out of them two would be surprising when you've got Neil, Nancy, and Nims who are way better but just haven't seemed to get it working. Oh, there you go, Fabry. Nice way to make your debut. Shame you're not good enough to stay here. Then again, if he gets another. If he plays really well, I might end up keeping him. Oh. On one, that wasn't that didn't last long, did it? Very quiet first half, though. I think these are the only two highlights of the game. I didn't even realize it was half time until just now. Oh, yeah, Ruin is still winning. Do you think? I think this is probably another draw now. And now, look, Acre's not playing, Acre's not playing well, so no one. Hillu's not playing well, so we'll take him off and put Prince Bong off. Oh, for God's sake, he's already knackered. Oh, no, we'll leave him. It's all right, he's recovered. Okay, the is not playing well, but we haven't got anybody to replace him with. I'm not going to make any more subs now unless. We get knackered players on the left back or centre defender side. I don't really want to mess about and put a goalkeeper in centre defence when we need to win this game. To win this game, let's fire up the players. See if that'll help. I mean, the thing is, we're just we're just giving the young players a, a run out. We don't need to win this game as long as we don't lose. I think losing would be a bit of a rubbish one, really. Oh no, he's offside though. Surely, yeah, he's offside. Ruin winning two. So it puts the pressure on Orlean. We're playing next. I'll try encouraging the players in a second if it lets me. That's not going to let me. Oh, it did. That's too late now. All right. 1-1. One, one. Another another draw. Bloody hell. We're the king of 1-1 one, one draws. I think that's the third 1-1 one, one draw in a row. That is hat-trick of 1-1 one, one draws. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. Four draw. Yeah, four draws in a row. But flipping 
three of them at 1-1. One, one. Right, I'll be back in a sec, figure out what I'm going to do. Right, so we're playing Orleans next. I've decided to go with the strongest team possible. Just get this done. And I think if we win this one, we are probably going to win the title by the looks of it. Let me just check if that's actually true. So we've got, so yeah, all, and then we are, so we've got, so there's nine, get, there's nine points available there. We're six points clear. So I think if we win this one, we won't be champions, but we'll be pretty much on track, I think, because we've got the goal difference of 13 as well. So let's just see how it goes. But yeah, the usual lineup by the looks of it. So let's get this done. We win this one, and the next one we will be champions. I would have liked to have won the title a bit sooner, so we could have played the young players a bit more. But we've got to concentrate on this first. Anything else is a bonus. And Orleans are not a, a team to we're not. We're going to, we might struggle against Orleans. We'll see. I don't think we beat them in the last game, but I could be wrong. Bizarre now pushes forward, bombing it down the wing, loses the ball though. Sadly, I was hoping there was going to be like a defensive error here. Still might be the way they're playing. Oh, there we go. Biltard. Oh, I think that was a wide shot. Boris. Sebastian. He has the ball now. Passing it out from defence. Biltard. Back to Dram. Batar with cross to Bazard. Beautiful cross. Look at that. Kofi with his 20th goal of the season. Look at that. He's doing a little Irish jig dance there. That was quite funny. Well, I don't. I've woken up the dog. Hello. Baxter was a very naughty boy last night. He woke me up about half... Woke us up about half two, three o'clock in the morning. He was trying to get into... The bed because it was a particularly cold night and i haven't had the heating on for the last couple of weeks as on the tight git and i'm trying to save on money because electric is not cheap these days i didn't realize that was the reason why he kept trying to get into the bed i thought he was just trying to be annoying because he always prefers to be in the bed get in two nil but i, fi I figured it afterwards because he was really persistent and he was getting really anxious and I, at the time i was getting annoyed at him and then i thought about afterwards so i got up with him i wrapped him up in a blanket and then i'll just fell back to sleep on the sofa with him so he was warmer because we we don't want him getting in the bed because if he gets in the bed he'll just keep trying to get in the bed all the time and he'll just become the norm and i don't want the dog sharing our bed any person with dogs will understand what i'm going through i did very well second day we had him i managed to train him up quite quickly after about three hours of constantly stopping him from getting into our bed he gave up and fell asleep in his dog bed next to us and then every night since, he literally goes straight into his bed when we go to bed. But if we get if we wake up in the middle of the night, for instance, my partner will go to the toilet in the middle of the night. He, he thinks automatically it's time to get up and play and have fuss off us. And then he tries and gets in the bed and he just he, he's very persistent, bless him. It doesn't work with me because I'm more stubborn than him. Anyway, 3-0. We're getting closer to that title win. Oh, look at that. Playing like champions here. Absolutely destroying Orleans. We're up until recently second place and doing well to compete with us. Who do I take off? Let's have a look. Pause this for a sec. So take Fatar off and put Deo on for Bassard. Costa on for Galvez. And Baxter, stop shaking the bloody laptop. Sorry, everyone. And then Silver can come on for Bastian. Quad quadruple substitution. 5-0. I didn't see the goal. I was checking on what Baxter was doing. He's now got his chew stick, everyone. So if you hear some tapping and chewing and stuff like that, it's not me, it's him. Five nil with the corner. Another one. We won another one. Poor Deo. We asked and we got it. Yes. It's a shame that we can't be crowned champions after this game because this would be one hell of a way to win the title, wouldn't it? Oh, we have won it. Oh, okay. I'm really confused then. My maths played up there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to pretend that that's Patrick Vieira there with his trendy red glasses giving us the trophy. Thank you, Mr. Vieira. Where are you going, Vieira? Oh, OK. Baxter's come in to join in the celebrations. Come on, Baxter. There we go. Settle down. Ruining my video as always. There we go. Yep. I don't bother with press conferences, by the way. So, all right. So we'll just shift this over to there. See if we can get any... Baxter. Sorry for the shaking of the camera then. He had an itch somewhere and he's biting it and he's going a bit crazy. Do we cash that in? Oh, we might as well. He's, I don't think it's... I don't trust the AI to improve the players enough that they get decent transfers elsewhere. Scouting. No, we won't do that because we don't... We're not scouting anybody. So we'll just leave that as that. All right, uh, so we've got triple the wage budget that we were supposed to have. Sorry, no, more than that. Quadruple. More than quadruple, actually. So, right. I'll be back in a second. We've got two games left, so we will play them. We will play our young players. So just give us a minute. Right, so this is our penultimate game of the season, and we are playing Sally's 78. I did go pick full rotation, and this is what it's come up with. And we've got Vitali and Fabri in centre defence. Silva's left back, De Costa's right back. Dosso is the goalie, Accra and Pierre in midfield. McAlew on the right, Dale on the left, Lacoya and Vaz up front. 
Hopefully, Baz will get another goal, get his tenth goal of the season. Has he actually got more? Has he got ten goals already? Oh no, he's got nine. So yeah, so he's on track to get his tenth goal of the season. I don't know, let's have a good value. Oh, I thought I was reading that wrong then. Right, don't need to worry about looking at that. Oh, Val intercepted there by Silva. Fabry. Oh no, cock up there. That was a poor defensive mistake by us. Let's see what we can do. It's not much of a rotated team to be honest. This team is strong enough to win this game. Then again, we did lose the Vasalis with our strongest team, so we'll see. Good save by the goalie. Didn't trouble him too much. Looping over the top corner, headed out, and now we have Deho with the ball. Loses it though. They have possession again. As soon as I get chance, I'm going to berate the team because I feel like we should be doing way better than this. They're 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 taking the mick here with these balls back to the goalkeeper. I think he's going to backfire in a minute. Silver, you should have better with that. You have plenty of time to uh, control that header and dictate a pass to somebody. Ooh, right corner over the top corner, headed out. No, right, come on, can we do a shout now, please? There we go. I'll do. I'll go demand more first. We'll see how we get on with that. Right, let's try demanding more again. Makalu's playing rubbish though. We'll take him off. Put on Prince. Right, I think we've come out. Fire it. Oh, I stand corrected. I thought we were going to try and at least have a shot. We've had one shot the whole game so far, and that was a poor shot because it wasn't even on target. So, a bit of a shame that the young player's not playing well. Oh, God, and now we're giving them a penalty. Come on, Dosso. Be the hero. That's a shame. All right, time to berate the players when I get. That's what we want to see. Why, why did we lack this earlier? Come on. All right, let's fire up the players now. Let's get going. Baz, you're not playing well, so you can come off. Oh, we can't We can't bring you off. You're just going to have to stay there. Fabry's not playing very well, so we'll put on you. Go, put you there. Try encouraging the players a bit, see if that helps in any way. We've been very poor in this game. I know we've rotated the team a bit, but we have been very poor. You never know, we might get an equal. We don't deserve to get a point out of this game. The Sallies have played really well. All right, corner to us. One of our last chances to get back in this game, into this game. The Costa with the corner into the goalkeeper's hands. Right, what a, a rare loss. Fatal signed a new contract. Back in a sec with the last game of the season. Right, here we have it. Season finale, last game of the season. Already crowned champions, so nothing to play for. Just going to swap these around, pick the rotated team again. So, yeah, so it's the same, basically the same team as the last game we played. It's not too bad because it gives Vaz and Lokoya. Lokoya's been okay. He's not actually, he's not progressed as well as he should. So we'll probably go in the summer. He's taking up a space. Another striker that we've got could probably do with having the game time instead. But Rubinho has been really good. I'm just going to offer him a new contract, actually. Three years. Yep. Happy days. Oh, we've had a cock up here. Right, there you go. Sometimes that happens and I have to click on a something and then go back into it for it to come back up. I don't know if anybody else has that issue. It might just be me. Oh, that was close. Dejan. I know slouches. We have to be... Uh, top of our game to win this. It's not the end of the world if we lose, though. We've already won the championship. We can afford to lose another game. Just not good for the young lads' morale, though. That's the problem. It's all good playing them, but if they're going to lose every game, it's going to ruin their development. Oh, Dejan, second. This is a top of the league decider. I should have picked my best team for this game. It's a wonderful thing, though. Right, free kick. Yes, get in. Deho. I don't think that's going to be allowed, is it? Oh, yeah, no. I thought for a split second then it was going to be allowed. He was slightly offside. But that's uh, promising. Gives us slight hope. Oh, that's Baxter having a doggy dream. It's all right, Baxter, don't worry. It's okay. It's all right. He's just having a doggy dream. He's playing rubbish, so I've just berated him. Hopefully that'll put a fire in his arse and he'll start playing well. Probably won't. Never does. In fact, his rating's gone down. This is a poor performance. In fact, I'm going to take Makalu off. I actually haven't got anybody to put on for him. I can take Tete off, though. I can and put him on. It's not the end of the world. It would have been nice to win the last game of the season, though, as a, but it is what it is. Yeah. Bit of a, you know, they're just passing it around now, hoping that we'll try not to nick the ball off them. They might get another goal here. Yeah. Oh, well, not that I would sign him, but who's the lens player? I thought he looked familiar. Right, let's berate the players, see if that helps in any way. Makalu getting worse and worse. It's okay. He's just having a doggy dream. It's all right. Poor little things yelping and barking in his sleep. Oh, I think we hit the post then. Makalu loses the ball. Get it back, though. Come on, Makalu, do something. Redeem yourself here. You're having a terrible game. Oh, leads to nothing. Oh, well. We're still the champions, that's all that matters. Get a consolation goal here? No, no we don't. Oh well, we still want the league, that's all that matters. Vaz is out for a few weeks, so yeah, Lacoy is going, he's out of here. I had a bit of claws, profit claws, just in case. Nah, we won't criticise Vaz, he's all right. Right, so we got 154k for participating in the National. We paid out 60k to the squad. What I'll do is I will holiday for a week and come back in a second with the season review all right we've come back i just want to go through the inboxes because there's some important things probably on here that you won't want to see kofi wins the player of the season for the national 
he got 19 goals in 25 games in the league. I think he got 20 goals for, for the season and six assists. So a very good season for him. I think we better. Oh, he's wanted. Who's he wanted by? Going Gump. Going Gump. Going Gump. We'll put that to a million if you wage it a little bit. There you go. So we've got him for a couple of more years. So that's good. He won the player of the who was runner up. Tormin and Nesta Algay Algegi. And then Kofi was runner up in the top goal scorer. I can't pronounce these names. Sorry about this, everyone. And then Romain. Goalkeeper, we had Mafia Patton, our goalkeeper, with the goalkeeper of the season. Just got to vote for manager of the season. Rightly so, it should be me, but we'll see. I'll vote for him as he was the second best manager. Oh, team of the season, we had Patilet, Boris, and Kofi in the team of the week. Team of the season, sorry. Oh, Patilet has been called up to the France under 20. That's called we better offer him a new contract as well. Oh, we can't. Oh, he's not with us. He's on loan. So he won't be here next season because we cannot retain him for the season. He was here at the start when I took over. We've got 206.3k followers up, up 49.4k. That's a hell of a lot of more social media followers now. 4,000 season ticket holders. A supporter influence on the board is only two. Hardcore goes down, but fair weather goes up. But that's probably because of the flavor of the month. So people will flock to watch us. Let's keep going through these. So this is the club vision for next season, I think. Play defensive, solid football. Play counter-attacking football, which I think is what we do anyway. Work within the wage budget. Grow the club's reputation. Avoid relegation from League 2. So pretty easy ish and then the next the season after and they also want us to i don't know the facility training facilities will be complete so in the next couple of years they basically just want us to record a become an established league two team in the following season from next and then that season after that record a top two league finish and that's maintain that and then maintain it so i think they just want us to gradually just progress bit by bit they're not asking for too much okay we've got soft drinks partnership We've got a new one for 775k per year. Slightly down from last season. Sponsorship is up, actually. I don't know why. I'll ignore that. Yeah, everything in the green. Everything's going up, so that's good. And then top five merchandise sellers was Kofi, Dosu, Pereira, Dasar, which I'm surprised about because he barely played, and Fontaine. Season tickets will go up to 15... Sorry, average ticket price will be £15 from 13 Average season ticket price will be 178, which is 15% more than last season. And then project projected yearly earnings is 3.1 million, which is up 30% from last season. So that's good. How do we set? We're not signing anybody. So, yep. Vaz is signing a new contract. He's turned professional. He will be playing probably more football. He'll probably be up there because if Lacoy is going, he's definitely going to be third best striker we've got at the club and maybe eventually take over from Qatar. So, yeah. That's good. We've got 9.5 million in the bank now. We're projected to go up to 14 million in a couple of years' time. Let's improve, see if we can improve the youth recruitment, see if I can sign a new contract, see if we can buy the stadium. Right, I'm just going to forward a couple more days before I go just to try and get the season preview done. Season review, not preview. So I annoyingly was not manager of the month, even though I had the best win percentage, which is really frustrating. I will be getting a new contract. There we go. Happy days. I've signed a new contract. I'm happy. Yep, there we go. So they're happy with my infectious ambition. They've decided to upgrade the youth recruitment to well-established now. So if we just look at club info, we look at facilities. Bear in mind the, trans the, the training facilities was just improved. So we've got great training facilities, excellent youth facilities, good academy training, academy coaching, and excellent youth recruitment. The aim is to try and get the junior coaching improved at some point. Yeah, we'll just keep going on here. We'll get the season review done and then I'll call it a day for this episode because it's been a long episode, to be honest. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Everybody's trying to get our scalp. Fab Profi has signed a new contract, which is great news. 22 years old. We've got him for the next four years and he's he's only got a relegation clause. So we don't need to worry about that. Hopefully, if we don't get relegated, if we get relegated, then it'll be a bit of a disaster, won't it? But yeah, hopefully we won't get relegated because if we get relegated, we'll probably get sacked. But we just don't. I'm just going to forward one more forward to the 2nd of June and see what comes up. Kota Kota member claims the May under under 19s player of the month. He did actually really well. Five goals in two games. He's another player I need to tie down to a new contract. He can replace Lacoya, I think, because he's better than Lacoya. So in, in, we'll have Kofi, Vaz and uh, as our four main strikers. Dosu has been called up to the, the Benin national team. All right, this is it, I think. Oh, hold on, let's do this first. All right, skipping this one now and then there we go. 
So yeah, good way to end the episode, really. Great episode. We managed to win the title. We managed to have a good episode. It was just a good episode, really, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling on, trying to fill time. I'm going to leave you to it now. And I'll be back on Sunday, I think. Sunday. Sunday, maybe. Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. You'll soon find out. Right. See you later, everyone. All the best.